Hi, I'm Wes Meisnitzer. I'm the technical support manager here at Enco Systems. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our flagship interface for DAD, digital audio delivery, and it's called Presenter. If we look at our Presenter screen, uh, Presenter is an all-in-one application uh, that's designed for on-air broadcast in a radio studio. And it's designed, you'll see, with a lot of the larger icons for touchscreen use, mouse use, as well as um, auxiliary controls like an X-Keys device can control parts of the uh, system as well. So what I'd like to do today is just overview uh, what the features are here in Presenter and show you how easy it is to use uh, in your broadcast. What we have on our left side here is what we call as our stack. That's our next six items that are coming up to play. And so we can see that the one that is playing over the air is in green and has a nice pacer bar going along with it. You have your VU meters, countdown. Uh, the system right now is in automation mode and we see that by the green indicator in the upper corner. And what that does is allows the system to continue going through the playlist uh, as, it, as it makes its way through the day. There's different things that we can do uh, right from this screen. We can uh, put the system into manual mode by just simply clicking that. And now the system will be in a manual mode operation where the song will stop after this and allow the operator to talk on the air or um, you know, play a, a, an auxiliary type of uh, audio from a different source or something like that and then come back to the system when they're done. What's nice about the stack here in Presenter is that there's a lot of features built into it to be able to audition cuts, move cuts around very simply. If you wanted to bring something up, everything in Presenter is drag and drop. Or if you're using a touch screen, you can simply touch the screen and then move it to a different slot. If we go into our audition spot here, we're able to audition heads and tails of uh, upcoming cuts. So you can have that routed to a different output on your console and listen to that in an audition mode. We also give you the ability to cue cuts up. So if you have a long cut that's coming up and you want to cue it up to a particular spot in a uh, song, then what you can do is cue it up to that point and once you're exited, you'll see there that there's a cue indicator for that cut and that will play as it, at that starting point when it comes up to uh, play at the top. Uh, simply deleting stuff out of the stack, you can just click the delete button and remove something from the stack. If we wanted to stop the system, we can stop it. If we wanted to super play on to the next uh, cut, we can simply do that. Segway will happen, the cut will move on to the next event. The right side of the menu is nice because it gives you eight interchangeable menus and a couple of different views. We can run it in a two panel view where we could do things like put our playlist on the top and our library on the bottom. Or we can do something where we can have a full screen view where we can make a, an entire playlist uh, go across the entire screen. So it depends. A lot of times people will do this type of view if they have a second monitor and then they maybe will put an array panel or, uh, or their library or something different on the, third, on the second monitor. What we'll show you here is we'll, we'll show you uh, this in a two panel monitor since we're using one. So just a quick overview of the options that you have to work with on these interchangeable menus. Um, our most important one probably is our playlist. Our playlist is going to give you the entire day's list or whatever playlist that you're using. And by unlocking the position on the playlist, it allows you to freely move through here at any point during the day. You can add stuff to the playlist. Again, everything is just drag and drop. So if we wanted to look at something in our library here and add a cut into the playlist at a later time during the day, we can do so just by drag and drop. If we wanted to add something into the stack, we can do that as well just by doing a drag and drop into there. If we wanted to pull up other menu items such as a user, um, user is a nice one here. We have Alice as an example. We can make different user tabs for your operators. So it allows them to be able to just keep a copy of maybe some cuts that they use a lot during their programs that they can, again, drag into the stack or drag into their playlist for use at a later time. Our search capability allows you to search across multiple libraries or across your main library. Um, we'll take, do an example here. We'll search for something uh, truck, for example. And we have something that came up that was trucking by the Grateful Dead. And um, again, that drag and drop functionality, which makes it very easy to use, allows me to be able to drag it into the playlist for later, or I can put it right into the stack for use. So if we want to voice track, we can voice track on the current day's log, which is really nice. We can do it right from the presenter interface uh, without having to leave the screen. So an example of this, I can simply highlight a cut that I want to track out of, open up Tracker, and it gives me the intros and the outros right on the current day's log. I can record right across the middle here, hear my intros and outros in my headphones if I route my console accordingly. 
adjust it the way I want it, and once I'm happy with it, I can save that voice track and exit out of the tracker system. We also give you the ability to have a record deck in the uh, presenter interface without having to leave it. So a lot of times folks will use this for recording air checks, doing interviews. Uh, if they have a morning show and they're interviewing everybody, they can simply um, add a cut title information and do the recording right here on the interface. And what's nice about that is when that recording is done, they can simply grab the cut number and drag it right into the library, right into the playlist, right into um, an array panel and be able to play it right back over the air. Uh, one of the most popular features that we have is our array panels. Uh, we give you uh, multiple pages of arrays. We give you 16 pages of, of arrays to use in Presenter. And what's nice about that is that you can uh, route it to a different output, use it for uh, weather, uh, music, um, different you know, music beds and things if you're talking over weather, traffic, uh, things like that, sound effects, contest uh, sound effects, all those types of things. And with the pages, we are, uh, give you the options to um, number them, or you can have them uh, change the page titles themselves. So if you wanted something that said morning, afternoon, somebody's name, you could assign pages to each, uh, each individual person. Another popular feature is our history section of Presenter. And what you have here is uh, a real-time as pillar report as well as a skipped report. So if you were to see things that might have skipped in the playlist, um, if a commercial was bumped, or if you super played out of something you know, right away, right when it started, it will show up in the skipped column. Um, if something got missed because of a sync event or branch event that happened and moved the playlist forward, you can see those types of things show up in your skipped list. And again, with our drag and drop capabilities, you can drag them right where you'd like to go into the playlist. And lastly, we give you the ability to have scripts. And scripts are kind of cool because the scripts uh, section allows you to be able to tie script information with a cut, or you can also use it as a web browser. It has HTML capability to be able to type an address in here and actually open up a small browser on your window if you wanted to pull up a weather report or something like that to read that back, all without having to leave the presenter screen. But there's also the ability to be able to tie scripts to a particular cut. So if a cut plays and you pull this up, it'll bring that information across the script page. Maybe give you information about the Beatles, gives you an information about um, if Paul McCartney is going to be playing anywhere soon, if you wanted to put that information in, concert information, giveaways, live reads, all those types of things can be tied to particular cuts in our script section. And to exit Presenter, uh, what's nice about that is Presenter can always run in the background as well. So if you were limited on screen or resources and wanted to get into other parts of DAD, you can simply just exit the Presenter screen or hit Alt-X on your keyboard and it takes you back to our main DAD menu where you can utilize the library and different functions of DAD. And then everything will continue to play in the background. Nothing stops when you do that. And to simply bring up the Presenter interface, you would click the Presenter button again. For those of you that have had a presenter in the past, you'll notice that we've updated some of our logos to make a more smoother interface. The functionality is still the same, uh, but a lot of the graphics and stuff has been updated to be uh, higher resolution, uh, to be able to uh, work with larger monitors, higher resolution monitors, and um, a little bit more at ease for the eyes. And last but not least, we have six priority play buttons here at the bottom that give you the ability to assign any cut you want to a uh, priority play button. These are always here at the bottom. Um, you can see them. A lot of times people will put a, a, a switcher command or a, a tone button or something, anything you want. There are just six additional buttons that we give you on the presenter interface to be able to, um, to utilize for, for what you need to use it for. Uh, many are familiar with our DCL language, DAD command language, which uh, if the way I look at it is if you can dream it up of what you want dad to do and it's not on a button, we can, we can create a command and put it on a button to load a particular playlist, do a switcher command, fire a GPI, um, send a GPI to the transmitter to put it in a different mode, night mode, or uh, change the pattern. Well, we, we have a lot of uh, interesting out-of-the-box things that operators have done with uh, the command language in dad um, and been able to tie it to priority play buttons or even to our array buttons here in Presenter. We hope that you learned a little bit more about our flagship on-air interface for radio, Presenter. And for more information about all of our products, you can visit us online at enco.com or by calling us at 800-ENCO-SYS. I'm Wes Meisnitzer, Technical Support Manager for ENCO Systems.